What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in an extra Academy Survival Guide. So we're about to go ahead and get into it, see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already and want to take support any further, Patre ah, Patreon link is in the description below. Also join the top of game membership and hit the notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go and get into it, man. If we keep up this pace, it won't take long at all. Okay, creepy Clevius, second floor boss. Once they got to the second floor, they captured Clevius, who was trying to run away, and forced him into joining the party. A maid tried to get in their way. Kelly made in charge of the washing and the bedding. Damn, they beat the hell out of her. I'm sorry, Miss Elbris. I failed to do the job you entrusted me with. But without the help of her twin sister, Shaney, she was no match for Taylor and his friends. Of course, it never occurred to them why one of the twin mates were missing. And so, much more easily than expected, they were able to make it to the fourth floor of the old fellas' hall. Technically, it was just that the first floor boss was unnecessarily hard to defeat. Yeah, <laughs> unnecessarily, huh? Run away. Yeah, yeah, y'all might want to run. I can't control it. Save me. Yo, this man kind of going, what? In the Rubik's Cube? Fourth floor boss, willing who was taken over by the ward spells. This was Elvis and Lord was playing on alone. They had left the crystal ball that activates the ward spells. Out in the middle, oh, out in the middle of the control room on purpose, the self-defense ward spells inscribed all over Ophelia's Hall were designed to protect students from any outside forces. But right now, They were basically dangerous, loaded weapons in the hands of a child. And now they trying to block it. What's going on out there? The building might come crashing down at this rate. What are the maids even doing? Even the students of Ophelia's Hall who had been keeping calm. Yeah, they panicking. Yeah, they panicking too. Even the ones I was keeping. Who the hell is this? Oh, these are the students. Boy, they jumping out the windows of like the fifth and sixth floor. Boy, they crazy. Guess you ain't got no choice. Began to use their abilities to evacuate the building once the situation got out of hand. Yeah, that might that might have been their best bet. Things were getting worse and worse. Elvira, do you have any night butterfly flower reagents left? Those only disrupt the flow of mana in an active spellcaster. They don't work on magic circles like that. This one's the best for narrow spaces. Anglerfish grass reagent. A reagent made by melting together anglerfish grass seeds and the emperor clam seeds. Ah, clam shells. Boy, I cannot read today. All right. <clears throat> okay, we're getting it in. Oh. This will, this will block beginner magic at least in this hallway. All of that's assisting magic. There's a lot of it, but it shouldn't be too powerful. Don't worry about us. You two, go knock out Woodland. Cleo is like, why you put me in this, man? I was chilling. Why, why you threw me in here? Right, he like, why me, bro? My boy, like, I, I did not want to be in this. I really didn't. He like, love it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, finally. It was like finally somebody is stopping me because I couldn't do it. He like I cannot do it. Oh, 
What are you doing here, Ed? Your wounds might open. It's fine. Most of this is in my blood. Stop worrying me, will you? Wow. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that care, that care is kinda nice, boy. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold it. That mug kinda silent. How plain? You think it's plain? Why? Well, maybe. Maybe it's kinda plain. I kinda like it, though. That might not be the first word that comes to mind to describe this fancy carriage. But considering the man inside, this is nothing. Golden King Elt. On any other day, he will be accompanied by a parade of over a dozen characters. But the fact that he's here in just one means he's trying to be quick and unnoticed. The Elt is Lordo's adopted father and a fake boss that later disappears after getting stabbed in the back by Laurel. He's not someone who should be at the academy yet. What's he up to? I guess the real question is, did he always come? The carriage has been standing still for a while. The maid. Mm. So why is he only getting out now? Was he waiting for a fellas hall to be partially destroyed? That's the third floor boss, the maid in charge of dishes, Kelly's twin, Shaney. Shaney? Why is Shaney? I remember they said Shaney was missing. Okay. Shaney is one of the orphans taken in by Elvis, the head maid. Elvis was supposed to be bought, bought off by Lordo, and Shaney was supposed to be the third floor boss, along with her twin sister. But the fact that she's with Elt, Lordo's enemy is definitely suspicious. Shane will never betray Elvis, and Elvis has been bought off by Lordo. However, what if Elvis betrayed Lordo and sided with Elt instead? The only future I can imagine as a result is Lordo's downfall. Lordo plays a huge role in both Act 3 in a political fight against Penia and in Act 4 where she becomes protagonist's main support in the battle against House Ross Taylor. Taking over against House Ross Taylor, oh that should be interesting. And that, what, what act is that? Act 4? Oh. Yeah, that should be interesting. Taking over the for Tote as some measly mid-boss was hard enough. Yeah, was it extremely? I can't take over for Lord or two. No, thank you. My boy, like, I'm not doing that. Yen. I have a favor to ask. It's urgent, but I don't know if I can handle it myself. How do I explain this to her? Sure, I'll help. What do you need me to do? Ride or die. Ride or die. That's what I'm talking about. She like, you ain't even got to explain. Just tell me what you need me to do. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't no talk back. Ain't no pushback. Ain't no nothing. You, She like, you just tell me what you need me to do and I got you. That's best girl. Greetings. Honorable Master Elk, Callahan, Golden King, and head of the Elk Company. Though she may seem to be obediently following your orders, your adoptive daughter, Miss Lordo Kellahan, is actually setting up a plot to betray you and take over. God damn! Miss Lordo is aware of the fact that you killed her parents and has been co coaxing the wealthy merchants and executives of the L Company in order to usurp your position. Additionally, the negotiations concerning the purchase of the Sage's Seal Tomb are nothing more than a way to lure you to Sylvania Academy and away from the main branch of the Elk Company so that you can now put a stop to the accident that will happen there in time. For undisclosed reasons, I was able to find out all of this information and have stolen the secret document from Miss Laura, which proves everything I am keeping is safe. However, nothing in this world comes without a price. I was promised an exorbitant amount of gold from Miss Laurel, which means that I may side with her if I do not receive an amount exceeding that from you. I'm starting to lose my eyesight and I have already lost most of my hearing due to an accident. This will be the last year I serve as the head maid. I am at my wits end and I am also the only person who knows the full story behind this incident. 
my actions may make things either more or less complicated for you. The note included with this letter is a list of organizations I have been secretly managing on a regular basis. The Serene Region, Crooks Orphanage, Cole Helton Orphan Shelter, Athens Crowsell Orphan Shelter, Odell Region, Alton Orphanage, Tamil Region, Public Orphan Shelter. The amount of gold coins deposited to these shelters will decide what I do. I pray that you make a generous and wise decision. Best wishes, Elris, head maid. Boy, she she like, look, you give me more. I, I flip. She like, I flip. It ain't nothing to me. Don't move. Master Elk will be arriving shortly. I did not expect you to be so shocked. I thought you were more calculating than this. You spoke of revenge against Golden King Elk, my lady. Unfortunately for you, the two of you do not seem very different in my eyes. I suppose the same goes for me. I'm assuming that's, um, that's, there's no way someone like Willing could have taken control over those war spells, just as I thought. The real culprit behind this incident was Elvis, the head maid. I will play it off. I will play that shit off. Yep, it was her. It was all her. It was all her. I had nothing to do with this. I was trying to escape. And look, she put a, y'all see, she got a knife to my neck. I was trying to escape. She has a hostage. And be careful, Taylee. Yep, I will play that shit off. Use that to my advantage. Lord, are you all right? Oh my God, thank you. Play it off. I'm fine. Look, there's the mastermind behind all of this. We need to stop her now. That's all I need to say. Pin all of this on her. But, Lordo, what happened to you? She can't do it. God damn it. The one time you need to lie, you can't lie. How pathetic I must look. Lordo, Golden King Elt is on his way. He came here himself because he doesn't trust his own right hand man. My plan to take down Elt is almost complete. The years of tax evasion and the financial responsibility for all this destruction will fall on him. Thankfully, all I need to do right now is to contact the executives at the main branch while he is away. I just need to send off the carrier pigeons hidden in my room and then I'll hide. I just need to avoid getting captured myself. Everything depends on me. That's all. Don't be disappointed. There's no one in the world who understands me. Betrayal, that's something I was prepared for, and I have experienced countless times. So, breaking down like this now. Poor Lordo, bro. Poor Lordo. She like, bro, I almost had it. I almost had that goddamn shit. Doesn't suit me at all. Girl, nobody likes being betrayed. Come on now. So, I need to do what I can. Right now, I have to run. I need to get to my room before Elt. Oh, that's... You're a little late. As long as I send off the message, everything will be fine. Meanwhile, first floor main hall. Yeah, my girl, you're a tad bit late on it. Tad bit late. Just, just, just a smidget. A smidget of lateness. A smidget of lateness. What's this? Students, you should evacuate. There's a chance that the building might collapse. So, we are here to stop anyone from going any further for safety reasons until the academy staff arrives. So, he like, why me? He like, why me, Lord? Why? What did I do to have to be put in this situation that I did not want to be put in yet again? I cannot let anyone pass. Were you ordered by the academy to do this? No, I'm acting based on my own judgment. Savinia is very clear when it comes to safety protocol, you see. There are three individuals trying to gain control of the storyline. Lordo, who plans to avenge her parents by taking down Elt and leaving the Elt company without a leader. Elt, who means to put a stop to Lordo's plot and wishes to succeed in purchasing the Sage's seal tomb. And a person weighing her options between them. Elris. The reason the storyline has been twisted 
I don't know the reason for her betrayal, but she's on the fifth floor along with Lordle. Should I get up there now to stop her? No. Even without my interference, she will run into Taylor and his friends, just as the story predicts. I trust them to handle her. You ain't got much of a choice right now. I have faith in them. You ain't got no choice in that either. Even though at the rate it was going, you was beating their ass. Because I've already confirmed they can do it. That means I need to take care of this. Whatever L plans on doing in Ophelia's Hall. Oh, if I just stop him from going any further, everything will fall into place. Hold on. Could you be Master L. Callahan, the head of the Elk Company? If someone as noble as you is here, you must have a due reason, but perhaps it would be best to contact the Academy staff so that they can make sure you are treated according to your station. I see. You must be... On Laurel's side. Well, you put that together quick. You like ain't nobody, ain't no don't nobody will wish to stop me. They wouldn't dare stop me. Ten minutes ago. Not ten minutes. We're going back ten minutes, bro, bro. Ten minutes, bro, bro. Ten minutes. Hey, what are you still doing in your room when everything's complete chaos out there? I didn't want to act rashly. It's not like a collapsing building would kill me. I guess he's strong enough to think that. Why did you have to go and destroy my wall? I'll get cold at night now, bro. This man is doing put. This dude different. This dude is different. Who on earth would ever expect this guy to be a mage? You're here too, again? We've never actually met. We were so. Oh, we were on opposite sides during the Glasgow incident. But yes, well, I'm sorry about that. Don't be so down on yourself, Yen. You've already gone through all your punishments. You're right. Thank you, Ed. Are you two dating, perhaps? No, no, no. We're not like... Oh, no, no, no. We're not. It's not like that. She like, is it? Did I make you feel bad, Ed? No, I'm fine. This was rude for asking. Oh, is that so? Sorry about that. Yeah, and you, you could have... You could have just played around and said, yeah, and Ed wouldn't have... He probably wouldn't even say nothing. But why did you have to break a wall to come see me? I have a favor to ask. So you broke a wall, okay. I'll pay you back later. If someone as noble as you is here, you must have due reason. But perhaps it would be best to contact the academy staff so they can make sure you are treated according to your station. Very well. You must be on Lord O's side. Yep, we got that part. Uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm. Could it be that you fell for the girl's pretty looks? Instead of hedging your bets on some old oh on some gold you may never receive, go for the profit before you. That girl has the nature of a fox. She will stab you in the back as soon as you oh as soon as your back is turned. I know that better than anyone else. As the father that raised her all these years, I will give you twice as much as she offered right now. Stand aside. Thank you, but. I wasn't promised any gold. So twice as much as nothing is still nothing. I see. I mean, we're not lying. <clears throat> well, I mean, we was promised a little bit of gold. So words aren't enough for you. Well, this don't look um, good at all. Get rid of him. Quietly. How is making more damage in? Okay, well, I guess you know the building's already exploding and everything. I guess there's no such thing as technically quiet. I guess we're gonna go with that. You think you can get away? I mean, we're gonna try. <laughs> we're not just gonna sit there. We're actually gonna try to get away.
Shout out to the squad, baby. Shout out to the squad. Are you all right, Ed? I'll check out. Oh, I'll check out the situation. So please buy me some time. And I'll pay you back later. He like shit, bet. You ain't like shit. Anything from my boo. You ain't like anything from my boo. I'm the one who owes you to begin with. They are students, but not to be underestimated. Do your worst. I mean, let's go in. <laughs> we got a squad. We got we got two of the strongest people there. I mean, they got stronger people, but y'all get the general gist of what I'm trying to go with. I need to find Lordo and tell her what's going on. What happened? Because she's standing there shocked as hell. Were you stuck in here? I... Let's take... Oh, let's take the back door for now. Can you still run? He like, I'm going to need you to come on. He like, I'm going to need you to come on now. Come on now. Come on, girl. Follow me and don't fall behind. Kindness and trust are only ever given for good reason. The reason Cheryl, the Elt Company receptionist, is so friendly to her is because he hopes that Lorda will accidentally drop some information that will make him money. The reason Caden, one of the trade workers, is so happy to see her is because Lorda often gives him tips. Teeny, the resident parrot at Savinia, is so proud of, oh, is so fond of Lorda because she gives him the highest quality bird feed. Every kindness and act of goodwill is tied to a reason. At least that's what Lordo World was like. There's not much time to explain. Elris didn't oh betrayed you, didn't she? It was my fault. Was it? Was it? What a foolish and naive mistake. I indifferent from Yen, who grow with love and kindness. And treats the world as such in return. The day I went to see Ed Ross Taylor about this plan, I happened to see the way Yen looked at him. As I watched a girl who had no selfish motives and wished for nothing in return, I fooled myself into thinking I too could have such a confidant. And I ended up telling Elris all of my plans. Mm, so that's what made it change. That's what changed the story. Okay. All right. Now we see. Failing to realize that the way I lived all of my life, never trusting anyone completely, was the only reason I had survived this far. Instead of fooling myself, I should have remembered just how dirty I had become. That I can never be someone so pure and full of idealistic hope. I bought off five people for this Ophelis Hall occupation plan. Elris, the head maid, Shaney and Kelly, the twin maids, willing the representative of the underachieving students and Ed, the fallen noble. Elris, Shaney and Kelly have gone over to Elt's side. Willie won't stay on my side either. He's more likely to assist Elt and this person too. I'm sorry, Ed. She like, I don't trust you, my boy. That's pretty much. Why am I telling him this? Why would I tell an ally? I can't guarantee whether I'll be able to pay you the 20 gold coins I promised. As you can see, my situation is a bit unstable. That he has no more reason to stay on my side. Why would I say something so foolish? I didn't ask. I'm trying to tell you, my boy, like I didn't ask for that shit anyway. I ain't won't be put into this, honestly. We're running out of time. Why are you standing around? Like, bring your ass. If you get captured by Elk now, your life is over. We'll talk about this later. For now, we have to run. Kindness and trust. Tell me what's going on. Are only ever given for good reason. If you can't see what that reason is, you mustn't trust that kindness. That's what my life has proven, but there's a market manipulation scheme that's ready to go at the company's main branch. My father must be behind it. 
after large-scale eradication of monsters in the eastern mountains last summer, the price of armor and equipment dropped drastically. He plans to buy them all up and establish a monopoly before repeatedly trading them within the company. So it's insider trading. You can keep it simple. What? Oh, yes. And father is, oh, is in need of funds for this plan. He said he found someone who would pay a hefty price for the Sage of Seal tomb. He sent me to Slovenia to find a way to seize that tomb. Okay, that's all I need to know. Insider trading in this sense is where three merchants buy up all of cheap items and trade it among each other to artificially raise the price of said item. As the price of the item keeps increasing while there is no supply, everyone begins to think, I have to buy it now. That's when the merchant began to sell their whole stock they had piled up and walk away with a ridiculous amount of profit. However, this strategy requires trust. If merchant B and C sell off their stocks without merchant A knowing about it, the price of the item drops drastically. Even Merchant A, who has been using all of his possible means to scrounge up every last piece of armor in order to gain a monopoly. In other words, Elt with massive losses, putting him in danger of losing his position. For years, Lordo has been buying off dozens of merchants who together make up merchants B and C in this scenario. But Elt has to be away from the main brands for the six magnets to be able to transfer the rights to sell over to themselves. You escalated the Ophelia's Hall occupation in order to force the Academy into financial distress, and by doing so they will become more open to selling the Sage's Seal tomb for cheap. And using that as bait, you wanted to lure Elt, who needs funds who needs funds gained by selling the tomb away from the main brand so that you can have everyone sell off the armor while he's gone, right? She like, well, damn, you figured that out pretty quick. How could he possibly? That means there's only one thing for you to do. Understand everything so quickly. You need to get a message to the main branch and tell them to sell all the armor, but there's a carrier pigeon in my room. The age of cell phones and faxes will be, will be so much better in this particular situation. It's my direct means of communication with the people on my side at the main branch. And once you set off that carrier pigeon, all you need to do is hide until everything proceeds according to your plan for you to win. But father must have expected something like this. His plan must be to capture me by tonight and force me to expose all of my plans and everyone involved. Listen closely, Lord. You need to get to a hiding place without getting seen. If I were Elt, I would have stationed people at both bridges leading into Akin Island. You'll be caught if you go that way. Go talk to one of the stable hands at the commercial district and have him drive an empty carriage off the island. Then have him abandon the carriage somewhere and run away. Then they'll think you made it off the island. What about me? There's a wood cabin I've been building in the northern forest. Stay in hiding out there for just three days. I'll go to your room and send off your carrier pendant. I just have to write something like sell now and send that. And the rest will be taken care of at the main branch, right? Yes, you're right. Someone's stationed outside the back door. I'll take care of them and then run over to your room. You keep watching and run toward the commercial district once no one's in sight. It was all... Oh, it was as though we were fellow merchants who had worked together for years. There was no time wasted on anything superfluous. It even, and I probably butchered that word. It even made me believe that I might be able to leave it all up to him. Are you listening to me? Why are you so distracted? This isn't like you. Right. Yes. I got it. Ed. But this time, I'm right. Why on earth are you going so far to help me? I ain't gonna lie, they made it look real pretty in this panel. Still ain't got nothing on 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 best girl yen, but they they made Lordo they made Lordo get in this panel give yen a run for her money. You can't ask that all of a sudden. No reason. I feel like I should.
and she's still standing there. Girl, don't you got something to do? And she falls. Fix it, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, another one has fallen. Another one has fallen, people. A loud noise. Is this the sound of the Elder's fight against Taylor and the others? No. It's closer. Is it from the fight on the first floor? No, it's closer than that. Can't believe it, but. Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go, people. It's the sound of my heart. I didn't expect you to come out of that door, Master Ed. How strange. Can we defeat a maid? I guess it's a bit anticlimactic for a final hurdle. I guess that's the real question. Are we strong enough to defeat a maid? The hellish occupation incident is finally coming to a close because they made it seem like the, ma the maids were very difficult to defeat. I'm assuming we can clearly, but um, I mean, we will because we're the main character, but I'm just saying like in terms of just regular strength, they made us, they made it seem like the maids were very difficult to stop. I don't know, but that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.